Hi, today I want to show you a model I found on Maker World, the toroidal launcher by Brent Peterson. You can find the link in the description below. This launcher does not require a pulling rod. It operates with a three-stage planetary gear system. When you twist the lower ring, the propeller is set into motion and takes off. I printed the entire launcher on a single plate. It took about six hours on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. All the parts turned out really well, but the assembly was a bit challenging. I incorrectly assembled the first gear stage. I began with the first two planet gears, and after inserting the sun gear, I had difficulty adding the last planetary gear. With targeted force, it eventually worked, and the first gear stage was complete. It's much easier to install the planetary gears and the sun gear simultaneously, as I did with the next two gear stages. And just like that, the first three gear stages were completed. I applied some lubricating oil to the shaft so that the gear rotates smoothly. Next, we connect the two gear stages. And then we lubricate the remaining gears. Next, we need to mount the annulus. And here I made another mistake as the gears are not perfectly aligned in the gaps. Nonetheless, I pushed everything into the casing and noticed that the gearbox was difficult to rotate. However, with a bit of force and a click, the teeth eventually jumped into the correct gaps, and the gearbox then turned very smoothly. Let's add the last gear stage. Assemble the final two components and then screw them into the housing. It's easier if you initially turn to the left to locate the beginning of the thread and then proceed to screw in the component. This time, I paid close attention to ensuring that all teeth were correctly aligned as I assembled the last ring gear. Finally, you just need to slide the cover onto the annulus. And check if everything works and if the gearbox rotates smoothly, just like that. We're almost done. Now you just need to install the last component and attach the propeller. That's it. I find the model very successful. The assembly worked right away, even though the components are not simple. However, when it comes to function or performance, the standard rack and pinion work better. They provide better acceleration. With this launcher, the maximum height for me was 3 meters. Thanks for watching and see you next time.